Alright, um, this is just a quick video about my progress with Default++. So I spent a, a couple of minutes, uh, maybe half an hour, uh, cleaning some stuff up. Um, so I added a border to the buttons and menus and um, made a more classical uh, shading on them. So instead of looking indented, they kind of stand out like buttons. Also tried uh, just now to make them a bit more brighter than the back background, window background, so they're a bit more visible. Uh, I cleaned up all the number inputs, so they are flat, they don't have a shading. The same with the uh, value slider over here. Uh, one issue though with the numbers is that you can se set the selection color to pretty dark and the text to white, that's okay, but on the value slider the actual background color here is the same as this uh, slider value, so I have to figure out what how I'm gonna do that. So. Uh, text, to, text input now has also the same thing. Um, I really like that the selected uh, the selected uh, input becomes uh, orange, so you can quite easily see what's active in the interface. Uh, the menus are the same. Uh, the checkboxes are more or less the same. These guys I can't seem to find in the settings anymore, in the team settings, how to fix them. Um, and yeah, the, yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna keep on working on it, uh, try to make it a bit more smoother, try to find a better interface font. Uh, this one is called... Oh, I can show you the text editor because I spent some time uh, tweaking the colors there, so the text editor now has um, I can load a template so we see a bit of uh, um, uh, scripting code. Uh, anyone does it. So this is our old. It's based on an old team I use for Sublime. So it, it has kind of okay text color. I really like this font for the coding so I'm gonna keep it but I might change the font for the interface um, and the font it's called uh, F25 Bank uh, Printer and you can find it uh, available online but I don't I can't distribute it I think with the license but if you want it you can try it. It's kind of okay for coding it's really nice for the number input to have um, this uh, monospace font which is kind of bold but it uh, it's not that super great for uh, the interface itself uh, the labels and the buttons and stuff like that but um, currently currently in blender you can't um, you can only set the code uh, a font for the scripting editor and the interface in general so it would be really nice if in the future maybe we have a possibility to um, the set font for these kinds of labels on the panels and the interface itself and um, inputs and stuff like that. That would be really nice. And uh, if you have you haven't maybe seen it, but um, Daniel uh, released this video today with uh, a lot of like EV features, which is really cool. So you can search for it, tree creature. Um, and I have to run now. I got the email, but um, before I go, I'm gonna try and see if I can show you how to make this uh, magnifying glass with the refraction effect quite easily in uh, Blender 2.8. Uh, so let's jump back to Blender. I'm just gonna make a new scene to kind of avoid any any crashes hopefully so just start by adding a sphere scale it up scale it down in one axis uh, set it smooth shading uh, can kind of place it over here doesn't really matter just so it's um, occluded in the cube uh, and we're gonna have to enable screen space reflect reflection and refraction but I'm gonna wait with that because it's kind of unstable 
for me at least go into the shader nodes uh, we can make a um, new material for this one and just put it to glass and uh, here we can see the, um, I'm playing around with um, the shaders they all have this uh, the same color up here uh, except um, uh, oh sorry not uh, the image texture So they're a bit different because that's the one you're usually looking for in your node tree to change. And also the, um, oh crap, it crashed. <sighs> Seems a bit unstable when you add stuff, add nodes. So I'm not going to add uh, that many nodes. But yeah, I'm working on the, um, uh, the team settings for the node editors or the nodes. Okay, let's do that again. Smooth shading. Let's move it up here. Um, give it the material. We can set it to glass. That's why I don't want to enable refraction and stuff like that uh, until I have set the actual material. And I'm going to disconnect that one also. It seems a bit more stable when you do it. So, the basic idea is just to uh, have uh, all the uh, we're gonna refract with our RGB color so you just set red uh, some kind of green you can tweak this of course if you want something else blue um, and give them different in index of refraction so 149 because then we gone this is like the base value 145 which is kind of okay for I guess glass and crystal maybe one closer to 133 you can check it up online uh, but anyway so the basic idea is just give them different colors uh, colors that when added uh, becomes uh, almost white and then give give them slightly different industries of reflect uh, refraction you can also uh, use a number input and just uh, do some math operator, so you just have to change it in one place. But anyway, shader, shader, add shader. And before I plug anymore, I'm going to duplicate it because, as I said, it's, it's prone to crash. So that's basically that. Let's turn on SSR and with refraction so we can see uh, there's a bit of refraction going on there but um, before we can see it actually displaying this scene we have to enable screen space refraction and now we can start to see the effect and you can change over here the depth um, I'm changing by entering just the number because uh, it's a bit more stable like that. You can see it start to clip uh, there. So either move the lens or play around with this value. But And you can also, if I scale it on the local Z, I can make it uh, thicker so we get a more lens effect. But as you can see, at the edges you get the... Um, uh, it's kind of splitting up RGB and giving this uh, refraction effect uh, uh, close to glass or crystals. Yeah, it's gonna scale that a bit more. But yeah, um, you can play around with this. Um, so this is um, this for the video. I'm gonna keep on working on this uh, default plus plus theme and hopefully have it uh, ready closer to 2.8 release and uh, keep you updated with some videos uh, about the uh, changes and stuff and uh, when I'm a bit more done I'm probably gonna upload it to BlendSwap uh, but yeah that was everything uh, for today goodbye